Alright guys, so in the last video we were successfully able to log in on our front end as well as navigate to our profile page. But as well as we have protected these cards, uh, these routes were not visible. So next thing is to register the user and currently we have this profile but we have logged in user and if I go to application we can see this token is also stored over here and if I clear this out and if I click Maven and reload you will no longer see this profile route so again let me log in mandy mandy123 or not 123 that's a password now and if I console we can see we cannot see the user and one more thing I want to protect this password uh, that was just for the testing purpose I console this logged out now if I clear the terminal now they manage one and login we are again have the token in the our, in our, uh, in our uh, local storage so next thing is to start working with the registration power part and for the registration part I'm gonna create register user and it will be something same async and since we have to interact with the regi API register and we should take commit again and then user data we shall pass it to here then commit register request and let response equal to await xuse.post since we are sending a data copy it out and instead of this login it will be a register request and we are passing the user data and one more thing I forgot that in my last video I console just logged out over here so I just gonna get rid of that thing too So on user data, we will simply if press the data that success not equal to undefined. That means there is no success. Then we want to comment. That means there is success. Gonna comment success method and at, at last we are going to return to the response which we are getting back from there so now since I don't know why yeah there's a comma yeah so now to if I go to the register component and I have to bring in import map actions since we are just in action, making some action over here from view x and now we want to curve create a methods and we want to spread that method map actions and we want to get register register and this is another method and on submit of this form I want to go call some action submit and firstly want to prevent default behavior and then call register user method so on call of this register event method 
now we can since this property has been brought into this function now this register method is now existing in this right, register component so this dot register and we can push that firstly we have to prepare the let user object username this dot username password this dot password confirm password this dot confirm password email this dot email name this dot name I think everything is there yeah now oh, we are just sending that user to this method that then waiting for the response and this response will be something something and once this response is there press the data dot success that is true this dot router router dollar router a push to the login page we are just sending that user to the login page and later on we'll be dealing with the errors in the last video we'll be dealing with the errors and other stuff but for now this stuff is fine so let's go and quickly create a registration now so for example register and if I go nanny manny one two three narendra maria nanny manny zero nine at the rate hotmail.com and this is my other secondary account And now if I register, yeah, unknown mutation because I haven't registered those mutations which we have created over there. So for unknown mutations, well there and my auth package. So first one was register request. So for that I'm gonna copy and paste register request. I will take the state. it state dot status equal to loading register success this plugin take a state state dot Status Success And that's all That should do it No Nandy Mandy Okay And bad request. Let me see what this email is already registered. So why this email is registered? I cannot get. Yeah. So in the last one, due to mutation state was not there, but that request was fired. So now if I just go to my MongoDB server, which is terminal, and put that user, we should find three users in there and yes it is three users so last request was to fire that's why we are getting error in that so whatever i want to show you i'll show you in the next part 
but for now that's fine so now I want to work with the logout functionality and for the logout functionality we'll go to change some states so firstly log out the user and how we are gonna do that so this will be again a async function log out and once more we need to put in comma this will take commit commit and that's all after that await local storage dot remove to item and we want to get rid of token item which is there we don't want that token commit log out and once this part is done we wanna delete the axios default token so to do that defaults not headers not common and that was authorization we are just gonna get rid of that thing and then we are simply returning and this logo looks there's some problem yeah Sync. Oh, that's fine. I put the wrong spelling. And now, where I'm gonna use that thing? So I'm gonna use that in navbar action, and in just map getters. Since this is action, we want to map actions. Methods. And firstly, we wanna bring action and that action is logout now since that method is prepared we are bringing in that method from here this action in the methods of this navbar component and then log out user now we can use it as the property so where was that yeah here here we have it and um, one more thing I forgot in here that is we have brought in the router so now we can use that router in this component router dot push login page so we are just simply throwing that user back to the login page so on the click we are going to attach click event since it is a tag we want to prevent the default behavior logout user call the logout user method on this and this the log out and that's all that would do it so now if I go to my currently I'm in my profile page and if I click logout I am kicked back on the login page but the problem being with this is if I still want to access this profile page and uh, let me quickly uh, application and there's no token no more token also in the locust but the problem being with this thing we are not we are still not protecting our routes because since the user is login but we are still accessing this profile and then how we are gonna do that so this is done so far now to prevent that route we want to do some extra work we want to do something called firstly I'm gonna get rid of this part yeah everything works same so for that we want some to we want some extra stuff 
and how we are gonna do that extra stuff so firstly we need to bring in the store import store from store so we have brought in the store and now we need to use that store so firstly we don't want to do anything with this home route which is over here uh, we don't want to protect we do not bother about this about route. but what we are bothered about this this login and register route to be protected for the authenticated users and the profile route to be protected from the unauthenticated users so we are simply gonna add some meta tags so let's say here we have meta requires guest which is true and the same thing will be for the registration page and same thing will be profile page but instead of it we want something not auth guest requires auth meta tag but still this thing is not complete and we want to Sorry about that guys, just a minute. Yeah. So instead of that we wanna do some other stuff. So router dot before each keyword method which will take three parameters to from and next. This two is the next page on which we are trying to go and the from is from which page which component which we are or view which we are going to uh, which we are coming from and next is the thing so two dot matched dot sum which will give a record and record dot meta requires auth and for the authenticated users we are not just going to use the store dot getters dot is locked in method and if the user is logged in, is not logged in, redirect to the login page. And we can do it by login. Else, if he has token then we are simply forwarding his request to that page then next condition else if we are simply gonna use this again command C and instead of auth guest And this time it will be the opposite of it and instead of sending back to the profile login page we are sending him back to the profile page and else we are simply redirecting but nothing is found there so now let's clear this out so if I log in and if I try to access profile page will be redirected back to the login so if I say nandy mandy one one two three four five six seven eight nine zero login 
we are on the profile page now if i try to register the register access the register page we'll again redirect back to the profile page register login and since home and this file is the same we don't have to worry about now if i click logout button the token is gone but still we are not directed and i guess there's an issue with that and that issue lies in a JSON authorization. So this stuff is somewhat confusing me and the problem is here we want to log out commit to because after log out we have committed this logout and but we were not removing all the state so to that we would add state dot status equal to null empty string and then it won't be comma state dot token equal to empty and state dot user equal to empty again so now if I save and everything will fine so now if I log in with the nandy mandy one one two three four five six seven eight nine zero login we have a profile for logout we are again directed back to the user. so this was the error which I forgot and everything is fine so next thing is like um, mm, that is fine this is fine yeah get profile so now if i go to this profile page profile component i just wanna put some styling in there so let's say dot card and in there ul with list group li with list group item and we want username name password email three of them email username name okay so we want to display these things and if i go to this login over here now the mandy one two, three that password is incorrect and we have a profile so if I reload we can see this thing but still not used so how we are gonna use the profile so to get a profile we need to go to the login state auth and instead of this logout just above that get the user profile async syncs that is a you want to take that comment await res equal to axios use the get h 
http localhost 5000 slash api slash users slash profile return press and there's a comma and this will commit and before returning response we will again commit file present profile with the response dot data dot user okay so sounds good And that will be commit. First commit is profile request. State dot status. Loading profile dot user equal to user so everything is fine I guess and once that is done we are going to this profile object and we want to bring in import map actions as well as map getters because we are going to use both from view x and then we want to have a have computer property uh, which will be map getters and when I get the user later on methods and I want to spread this map actions load profile or what was it get profile profile and on the created lifecycle hook this dot get profile request will be made now if I save and reload this thing again currently we have a token let me say okay get profile unknown getter that's not getter that's map actions On the network we are just getting the user data but okay I haven't used that thing e user dot email
is a nine. Now if I save and reload, here I have everything. So that's basically it about this. And now I just wanna paste some stuff in here to make home page a little bit attractive. So just gonna, it might take a little bit for a while, um, but just the static stuff. So don't worry about this home page. If I save it, now home page looks much better. And one more thing, this no space. So for that, you can go to this login or main app component. And after this app bar, you can wait in paste a couple of line breaks and that will make your application look like this <coughs> excuse me style zero pixels and this looks perfect This is simple approach chat Motron and whatever we have used, I have just described the technologies. That's all. Then I'm going to go to this about page. And instead of this about page, H1 to the class of display three. Okay, about us. That's the basic stuff. Um, about a section. dot car good book INC we are happy to help you in learning the projects And the stuff looks good. But need some padding. So B3, I guess. Yeah, that looks. Spam business email
Oh, okay, fine. So once that is done, very basic stuff. And in the next video, we'll start dealing with this uh, messaging messages like notifications and pop-up bars error notifications which we'll be having in our application and this looks what so there's some issue with my app over here caught content on that view yeah I override it there So in the next video we'll start working with the authentication, uh, not the authentication but the uh, like some stuff as usual like messaging, error messages and all the stuff we'll start working with that and so far. So hope you like this video and give this video a thumbs up if you like the content of, the th of us. And if you want to become a patron, then it would be great for us and kind of help us in just growing. So, okay, guys, so good night.